So I'd like to talk to you about osteoporotic compression fractures. And osteoporotic compression fractures are a real problem and in some ways would be considered an epidemic in this country. Osteoporosis is basically low bone mineral density, which equals fragile bones. And it's very common in the elderly, and it's something that is a big problem for the healthcare. It is a public health problem. Over 100 million people worldwide are at risk. 28 million people are at risk in the U.S. of having a fracture. And about 1.5 million fragility fractures occur in the U.S. each year, as you can see on this slide. When you look at the prevalence of vertebral body compression fractures, the most common fracture is a vertebral body fracture. When you look at other fractures, such as hip fractures, wrist fractures and others, the spine fracture is the most common. When you look at this slide, you can see the difference between a normal vertebra and a compressed vertebra. The front of the vertebra usually collapses, the back usually stays about the same height, and that causes a wedging effect in the vertebra, which is shown on this picture in this young lady who at the age of 50 has a good posture and at the age of 75 has the Dowinger hump or more of a kyphotic upper thoracic spine. What are the signs of a fracture? Sudden onset of back pain is the most common, but there are some fractures that do not cause pain at all. The chronic manifestation sometimes can even be worse with the loss of overall height, spinal deformity or what's called Dowager's hump, and or a protruding abdomen which a lot of people feel that they're getting fat, but actually because their spine is bending forward is uh, a result of that.